Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Starlords. I hope that you all have a fantastic day and in today's video I'm actually going to be showing you a lot of the new secret areas and points of interest around the new Fortnite Battle Royale Season 4 map. It's been updated quite a lot guys and there's going to be a couple of areas that you do know about and you don't know about. Some of them are very hidden away and very very secrety indeed. So they're pretty cool and I'm actually going to be doing this through the use of the replay editor. As you can see I'm actually in it right now and uh, this was actually my first game I got into the actual uh, I guess Season 4 Battle Pass and I absolutely wrecked. I think I won the game. It was awesome but what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to pause right now and uh, what I'm going to do is go into the flyabout kind of drone thing and just kind of spectate a lot of the new areas. And uh, we're going to start off with this one right here, which is the brand new area, Risky Reels. This is called Risky Reels because it is a kind of movie cinema a kind of area, like an outdoor kind of area. And it looks pretty cool in my opinion. I mean, you know, there's a lot of cars parked up and everything like that. They've got that whole, you know, kind of, uh, I guess, the big screen that's been crashed in by the meteor. The meteor, like, hit down in that little movie area. And um, it looks very interesting anyway. Now, unfortunately for us, I don't know exactly where all of the kind of uh, chests are and everything like that, but I do know there are a couple of chests around this area. And look at that awesome little green screen right there for, like, future content creators. That's awesome. Uh, but anyway, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go and visit some of the crash sites around the map and kind of just check around the area in general. And uh, yeah, I thought this would be a pretty awesome place to actually start. So this is a brand new area. There's a good bit of loot here, to be honest. And there's these brand new kind of... Uh, I don't know what they're actually called. I guess we're just going to call them crystals for now. But they actually make you jump really high in game. And they last for around about 30 seconds. So that's pretty cool too. Wait, what is this? Revenge of Bry's Dog, part two. It came from Moisty Meyer. What is it? An ant -n story. An Ant-Man story? An ant? An I don't know what that says. But yeah, anyway, you can kind of get the gist. Um, but yeah, if we just kind of go towards this part of the map, what I'm going to do is speed it up a little tiny bit. This is going towards the llama. You know the llama at the very back of the map? It doesn't seem like um, anarchy has actually changed at all. But if we just go past the motel here, which you can see now has a huge sign in it and the trucks have been destroyed a little bit. So that's a kind of new thing to be updated. Um, if we just kind of go past, you will see that there is a n another kind of big meteorite area and uh, it can spawn up to three chests inside this area or, you know, around this area. So that's actually pretty interesting. Now, as we kind of move, you will see that just at the outskirts of Junk Junction, this used to be a town area, like a house and a little bar next to it. Now, it's actually been made into a movie set kind of area. So, if you just go to it, you can see that, you know, friends, the friends of the Fortnite universe get showed, like, if you're, like, done here and everything. It looks pretty interesting. Um, as far as I know, there is one, there's only, like, one chest around this area. Maybe, oh, no, wait, there's two. And then, let's see, three, and then four. There's four chests that can spawn in this area. It's completely untouched from the actual, uh, I guess, you know, the actual meteorites and everything like that. So that's pretty interesting. But, um, yeah, very interesting indeed. And what's inside here? Let's see, no photography? Is there, like, a secret thing inside here? No, okay. Well, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go towards the edge of the map down this way. And uh, there's actually a brand new area with a brand new, like, weird looking house. But inside some of the houses in this update, you're going to actually find that they now have these secret bunkers underneath them. And uh, what you find in those bunkers may actually be linked to a battle pass challenge a little bit later on down the line. So if we just kind of, like, ch check this area, the fox right there, if we just kind of go over to this area, which is untouched by the meteorite, it seems... There is a brand new mansion at the back of Lonely Lodge. And this looks really, really sick. I really like this. I mean, look at that. That is amazing. Um, but yeah, this is very big. It's like a one-of-a-kind kind of house. I've never seen the houses look like this before. Let's just see if there's any chest spawns in this area. Let's see, maybe none here. Uh, let's see, none here. Looks like there's a couple of new art kind of pictures that have been added into the game too. So I'm going to have a look and see if there's any kind of Easter eggs uh, that are linked to those. There's no chests as of yet in any of the rooms or... Oh, wait, no, there's one at the top. 
And as you can see, there's actually this new logo. This new logo right here is actually a brand new icon, and I believe this is a superhero's house. I know that sounds really weird, but yeah, I believe it is. It's like, maybe like the Batman house or something, you know, the way Bruce Wayne has like an amazing house and everything. That's what it could be. Uh, but if we actually go to the very bottom of this house, you will actually see that there is a brand new kind of area. And as you can see, another kind of chest right there. It's got a server room with some PCs in it. It's got its own little kind of crappy kitchen area. Oh, what is that? Oh, crap. That's sick. So that's a brand new kind of little Easter egg right there. Oh, schematics for like a brand new suit. Okay, so the dude who has, who's the first suit, I forget his name. I'm assuming that this is his house. And this is a prototype suit for his kind of, uh, for himself. Let's see, what else it got here? It's got just bins, some ammo containers, a shower room. Let's see. Uh, we've also got the chest, which is obvious. It's got this kind of device here, which I'm assuming is like, a normally like a globe would kind of pop up here or something like that. That's pretty cool. And then also he's got like this kind of back cave looking area where you're actually able to go inside the mountain and check it out. And there's actually like a brand new kind of a... Uh, area like damn this looks cool this is so cool um well anyway that is the brand new kind of mansion area that's been added to the game i know for a fact that some other places around the map got hit by meteorites such as this one right here uh, this actually spawns one two chests three chests for you if you want to land here uh, let's see moisty now has a new area i believe too which is very interesting and it actually kind of it's kind of actually showing you that this may actually be a movie set area. Yeah, look at this. It definitely is. Like a helicopter's crashed here. Uh, let's see. Does it have any chests? No. But there is a logo on the back of this, which could assume that it is the bad guy's logo, you know? Uh, but anyway, really cool. It's got one chest right there. Somebody actually said to me that it was going to be an amusement park. But upon looking at this, it actually seems like, yeah, it's, it's going to be a movie set. Like, look at this right here. Brand new movie set right here. Let's see, with the camera looking this way. So, you know, uh, let's see. It looks like maybe people or kids have been sat there. And it was like they're kind of... I don't know. It, it just looks really strange. Like, this is so cool that they've updated this completely. And apparently... A, a source very close to the game's, like, developers said that every week the map will be updating. So, you know, one week all of this will be here, but the next week more of the set will be here. And then the week after that, it'll keep on evolving, you know? So this is actually pretty cool. And I'm just looking for, like, maybe some Easter eggs. We've got some new fish here. Let's see, bacon, chicken. Pretty nice. Let's see, some salsa. Let's see, what else have they got here? Another chest right there, some movie star kind of areas. Let's see, no flash photography. Um, I'm just looking at, I want to find so many Easter eggs, as many as I can. I'm going to try and do, try my best to actually find some. Uh, let's check out this side of the map over here by the crab. That's been untouched. Let's see, uh, lucky landing. Oh, I whether this is, like, I love lucky landing. I think it hasn't been touched. No. Oh, hot damn, it hasn't been touched. Okay, what about yonder yard? Okay, it looks like Yonder Yard hasn't been touched either. Pretty much none of this side of the map has been touched because obviously it is a very good place to loot anyway. And the whole purpose of the whole right-hand side of the map being touched... It, whoa, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. There has been an update here. What is this? They've updated Yonder Yard with zombies. What? Dude. So what is this, like a nightclub now? Holy, oh my god, it's like a nightclub slash battle royale kind of area where people like do, like, fights and stuff. What the heck? That's insane. What? This map has had some amazing changes, like, oh my Jesus Christ. I wonder if anything here has changed. No, it just seems to be this place right here has changed. And they've got rid of the two little chest areas right here, but still one chest spawns here. I'm assuming that, uh, you know... The chest spawns are all still somewhere around here, you know? They ha they definitely haven't got rid of them. So, uh, yeah, that's new. Let's see if they've updated chair. Okay, they have an updated chair. Let's see, what about over here? Oh, no, looks like uh, Greasy Grove is exactly the way it was. Looks like that side of the map is. The football area is still the same. I assume that most areas are the same. Uh, of course, you know, Tilted Towers actually did get hit by a meteorite. It destroyed the building with the chair in it. That's very unfortunate. A lot of FBI agent cars and everything here. 
This is insane. I'm loving all these new changes. Like, tell me guys in the comment section below, are you enjoying all of this? Like, I mean, look at this. This is insane. Of course, the most notable change is that Dusty Depot is no longer here. It is replaced by what could only be assumed as this big, huge meteorite. I wonder if there's anything inside of it. Let's see. Okay, there's nothing inside of it. So that's it. Uh, let's see. No clickbait there for you guys. Uh, let's see. Anything in here? Just a couple of chests. I actually have not landed here yet. So that's kind of interesting. I've got a chest right here. Oh my god, it looks insane! What they've done is absolutely amazing. Like, it doesn't see- Oh wait, Loot Lake's being hit a little tiny bit. So you actually get a little bit more loot here now. You get two new chests. Um, let's see, that's about it, to be honest. And yeah, guys, I think that is pretty much all of the new changes around the map in Fortnite Battle Royales Season 4. I mean, I bet there's a couple that I've missed, you know, such as, like, let's see. There's nothing here, but I do know that I haven't included- that there's secret bunkers in Salty Springs now. Hey, before we go, I'll actually go and check it out for you guys. Because, you know, I, I, I assume that a lot of you guys are going to be very curious about that. I believe if you go inside this house right here. If you go all the way down, there is a new area. Okay, it's not that house. Is it Grandma's? No. Is it this house? Okay, yeah. It seems to be this house right here. So, let's see. Let's start again. If we go underneath this house right here. And we go down the stairs. You can actually go down the stairs again through this little hole. And then you're actually uh, kind of introduced to this brand new system underneath here. That has one. Let's see. Just one chest. Two chests. Two chests in this area right here. And it seems like this person is also maybe a superhero. Let's have a little look. See at this. What's that? Okay. A teddy bear. There's also a couple of areas on the map there. Like a, a couple of little screenshots. A tree, I believe. I don't know. Maybe it points to something that's coming later on down the season. But as of right now, we don't exactly know what any of this means inside all of these areas. Uh, but anyway, guys, I think that has pretty much been it for all of the new areas on the map. I mean, like I said, there's probably one or two that I've missed. But I have shown you guys a couple of new secret little areas and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, if you did enjoy this video, please remember to leave a like, guys. And uh, yeah, until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.